Hi, this is Thomas from At The Gates. You're watching Bloodstock TV. Okay, next up on Bloodstock TV, we're having a chat to the guys and gals from Control the Storm. How are we doing? All right. Yay! God almighty, there are a lot of you. Yeah, You're like the so solid crew of Bloodstock or something. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so you guys just played on the Sophie stage earlier on today. So how has that gone? Yeah, oh, it was absolutely amazing. Um, one of the best experiences ever. One of the best gigs ever. The crowd were amazing. The show went um, brilliantly. It all went to plan. And uh, having the pyro, you know, provided that extra touch. I it was a dream come true. Ray, Ray's been talking about the pyro for months, haven't you? Yeah, literally. He said he's saved up all his pocket money and everything, and he's and he's bought all these little like sparklers and things like that. So, so they all went okay, did they, mate? Uh, it went as well as it could have done um, on a wing and a prayer, mate. To be honest, yeah. we met the pyro people an hour before our set, and they were like, "So, what do you want to do?" I was like, oh, well, "Just make, just make just, it happen. Just go yeah. nuts. Go nuts and blow then, things up." Yeah, I mean, basically, don't don't set fire to the tent, but nearly yeah. set fire to the tent. So yeah, that yeah. yeah, was good. It was great. Okay, yeah. So we're not quite Gojira level, but we did all right. Yeah. Baby steps. Yeah. Baby steps, mate. Baby Very steps, serious. indeed, yeah. <laughs> so I'll stay with you, Ray, because you, you played here in 2012, didn't you, a few years ago? I did, mate, yes. And uh, what, what, what do you remember from that? Not a lot. Um, all I remember was getting cut off stage short, which was really unfortunate. However, it was one of those things, it was an amazing experience. It kind of lit a fire under us. And uh, for myself and Rich, we really felt that, like, there's something special here. And that's what I love about this festival. Like, Bloodstock develops bands. It always has. And we, I, I think this year for us coming here, it's testament to the fact of the work that Bloodstock do. If the bands put in the work, Bloodstock will recognise that. And if we all work together, you can achieve great things. And today's set went really well. Yeah, it's like that whole thing about pushing bands. Because you were the Metal to the Masters winners in Reading, weren't you? That's right, yeah. In and, yeah and getting bands pushed up onto the stages and stuff like that is uh, the way it works. So, uh, yeah. So, so, yeah, main stage next then, mate. That'd be nice. <laughs> Maybe, I, you know, if Simon is feeling in that way inclined, I might yeah. bully him, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe if you could save save up all your firework money and your pocket money instead and okay. buy Simon, I don't know, <laughs> buy one of your inflatable unicorns that you uh, that you had last year. I got auction it off, maybe, yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just going to have to, like, carry on living in my van for the next year. I don't know. But, yeah. So, so uh, have you not bought the inflatable unicorn this year then, mate? I do have it. It's, I, there was a bit of a there was a fire incident last year where I nearly nearly died uh, going to going to uh, was it going to what was it Nightwish last year and uh, yeah my, the batteries on my the battery pack on my uniform kind of exploded and some guy wrestled me into the ground and uh, I felt like one of the only big muddy puddles outside the uh, Jägermeister tent. And then, yeah, I, I got up and I was like, what happened? And they were like, you were on fire, mate. And I was like, all right. <laughs> and then, and then, I, then seen missing for a couple of hours. Yeah. Uh, but I've, I've, I've got a unicorn outfit. I might break it out for you later. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that you, you called that, that your uniform then, rather than unicorn. And I like, actually like the idea of that. I'd like you to go driving around in your tour bus as that's your <laughs> uniform. You're wearing a unicorn. I, I might do that just for you, Paul. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Cool. So we're coming to you guys back over here now. So, uh, yeah, so you've just got your album just eventually come out. Uh, so uh, yeah, Forevermore is out there at last. So how you how you pleased with the reception it's gone out there and everything? Yeah, it, it's been received really well, um, beyond our expectations, really. Yeah, we've had loads of good reviews. Everyone who's heard it loves it. Um, well, no, I agree. I'm actually I expected it to do pretty well personally, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we spent we spent a long time working on it. You know, uh, we were we're very much perfectionists. You know, we spent 18 months writing and recording it, and uh, yeah, spent a lot of time on it whenever we could, really. And uh, I'm really pleased with it personally. Yeah. I think we all are, really. Yeah. yeah. So it feels really good that uh, people are loving it too, because all our hard work has paid off, and it's paid off because we played here today. Well, not yeah. really. To a really, <laughs> the tent was. <laughs> Well, the tent was packed out though, so people were there even before we had begun, so that's a massive achievement and it was great seeing 
people down the front. We control the Storm T-shirts on, singing along to our songs, to the lyrics that we wrote. Yeah, yeah. such a big, uh, a proud moment. Yeah, that's got to be that. That's got to be one of those things, isn't it, for a band? It's got to be the biggest thing when you see people in the crowd, yeah, especially definitely. for a, a band that's emerging and trying to get up the ladder and things like that. Yeah. Just seeing even just one or two people singing along would be great. But when you get a load of them, it must be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And you went down the uh, the pledge route, uh, not not with pledge music, I might add, because uh, yeah. we'll, we shall not mention their name. But obviously, there's a lot of controversy about these things and stuff like that. So, but yours seemed to go really, really well. Yeah, we we reached our target. Amazing. Uh, we did. We exceeded it, which was yeah far beyond what we expected. We thought we wouldn't raise it all, but we did. Yeah. So um, that just goes to show how much interest there's been in uh, our new album and, and uh, stuff. So yeah, thanks everyone who pledged. Well, I, I actually yeah. I actually contributed £6.66 to it. Well, thank you, because, oh, every little hope. Because Ray, Ray was bullying me. Ray, Ray kept messaging me. And I like how it was oh, yeah, 666. Yeah, six, six. Oh, this is what I got, yeah, I've got a nice signed CD here. That's like, you know, so these are available. And you, can, you can get a copy on our bank camp. <laughs> yeah, and you also did a, the video for Follow Me was amazing as well. Was that Thank good fun? You. That looked like really good fun to make as well, yeah? It was. Well, no, it was really good it's fun, but it was one of the coldest days of the year, though, when we yeah, did it. It, it was, was freezing, fun, absolutely freezing. I don't know how we got through it. I couldn't feel my toes or pans for like two days afterwards. Yeah. It was freezing, but yeah. it was a lot of fun. and it was very glamorous. It My wasn't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah, and we're going to be making a new video very soon. So watch this space. Excellent. Cool, cool. Sounds good. So you're here for the rest of the weekend then, guys. So you're, you're over and done with on the Friday. So what are we doing for the rest of the weekend? Who are we looking forward to seeing? Me personally? Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to seeing Anthrax, Queensryche. I was looking forward to Timo Borger, but they're not playing now. Yeah. Sabotol. Oh, of course. Yeah. Sabaton! Sabaton, cool. We'll go around all of you. Are you looking more fruit? Yeah, Sabaton! Sabaton for you, right? Well, I just caught a little bit of Children of Modern, which has made me a very happy Ray Ray. Yeah, yeah they were um, great. Sabaton later on, and um, yeah, Parkway Drive. I'm, I'm going to be controversial. I'm actually looking forward to Parkway Drive tomorrow night. That's not controversial. They're our well, headliners. Why would well, you not be looking forward to them? <laughs> well, because, I know, like, because, because I saw them in Cardiff. I wasn't sure. I was going to see Kill Switch Engage, and I was absolutely blown away by them. And I'm happy that they are headlining tomorrow night. I think they're going to put on an amazing show. Cool, cool. So, yeah. I'm also looking forward to that, to be honest. I yeah. Uh, yeah. Saw a bit of children about him. Still got a bit of a trap on. Yeah, well, that was all right. Oh, that's can, all you say, can you say that? On the can, TV? can you say that? You can say what you want, mate. <laughs> what are you going for? Uh, to be fair, the biggest one I'm looking forward to is Deep Snyder. Can I yes. always yeah, yeah, yeah. share it to be fair? Yeah, we forgot about. I'm looking forward to three hours of we're not going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we can see there the wide range of of, uh, of tastes that you guys have all got, and Bloodstock caters for all of them. So that's all good. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm Thank absolutely you. delighted that your set went well and that you're having a great time. Yeah, it's great. Cheers. That's Bloodstock TV. We Thank control you. the storm. Yeah, Bloodstock!